In forced breathing, the inspiratory area sends impulses to accessory inspiratory muscles, resulting in a more forceful inspiration. The inspiration area also activates the expiratory area during the expiration portion of the cycle. The expiratory area then sends impulses to expiration muscles, which consist of internal intercostals and abdominal muscles. These impulses cause the expiration muscles to contract, and this results in a forceful expiration. The rate of the ventilation can also be modified by input from other areas of the brain. Two areas in the pons can modify the rate of ventilation. The pneumotaxic area can inhibit the medullary rhythmicity area, resulting in shorter inspiration phases. This produces short, rapid breathing. In contrast, the apneustic area stimulates the inspiratory area, which prolongs the inspiration phase. This results in long, deep breaths. The hypothalamus is another region of the brain that influences ventilation rhythm. Emotions, pain, and changes in body temperature activate centers in the hypothalamus. These centers, in turn, stimulate the respiratory centers in the pons and medulla, altering the ventilation rate. Impulses from higher cortical brain centers can bypass the respiratory centers in the pons and medulla and provide us with some limited voluntary control over the muscles of ventilation. This pathway allows us to consciously alter our breathing patterns, which is necessary for speech or holding our breath.